Okay, good morning. Uh, um, this study is on epidemiology and management of patients who present with shortness of breath as main presenting complaint uh, to the emergency department of a tertiary care hospital. Uh, this study was conducted over a period of uh, two months in a tertiary care hospital. Uh, so the, the, uh, it was a descriptive cross-sectional study uh, which uh, uh, aimed to study the clinical and non-clinical profiles of patients presenting with shortness of breath. There were two, 427 uh, participants in the study, almost equal number of males and females. The institutional incidence of a patient with shortness of breath was 11.2%. That means out of all the presentation, 11.2% percentage was patient with shortness of breath. And the prevalence of smoking in this group of patients were 23 percentage. They, most of the patients who presented were seriously ill at the time of presentation. That means they were categorized as category one and two in the triage category used in ANE. They needed uh, intervention within 10 minutes of uh, presentation. The comorbidities prevalent in this group were mainly cardiovascular and uh, respiratory but the cardiovascular comorbidities were more common than respiratory, such as hypertension, ischemic heart disease, uh, and, and followed by uh, bronchial asthma and uh, COPD, the respiratory condition. Most of these patients had commonly four investigations. Those were in, in the a &E. they, they were ECG, blood gas analysis, chest X-ray, and lung ultrasound scan. And the pattern of uh, abnormalities we found is displayed in the column under investigation. The main initial diagnosis made in the AME uh, is displayed in, in the bar chart, which is more commonly acute pulmonary edema, which was very common, and followed by acute exacerbation of bronchial asthma, lower respiratory tract infection, acute coronary syndrome, and acute COPD. There were some patients with, uh, there, are, there were quite a, number, quite a number of patients with sepsis, uh, anemia, and some psychological conditions who also presented with shortness of breath as the main presenting complaint. When we look at the system support which was provided at a &E, uh, more than 75% of the patients needed oxygen therapy in the a &E and as well as at the time of disposition. And quite a lot of patients, almost one third of patients needed some sort of, some kind of ventilatory support. There were two uh, type of ventilatory support, non-invasive and invasive ventilation. Majority of them were treated with non-invasive ventilation, 130 out of 427. And there were some people, 10 people uh, needed di urgent dialysis and another 12 needed ionotropic support. And the mortality at a &E was 2.1%, which is fairly higher than compared to the other countries, which was 0.04%. Uh, and the, the main disposition, most of these patients, 90%, almost 90% were sent to no, general wards and about 6% were sent to either an HDU or ICU. 3% of them were discharged home. When we look at the uh, uh, non-invasive ventilation, when we compare uh, who needed non-invasive ventilation, uh, the people who had initial respiratory rate of uh, uh, 30 or more and uh, saturation of 92 or less, or the triage category one and two, these group of people uh, uh, needed uh, treatment with uh, non-invasive ventilation compared to the other group where they had lower respiratory rate or higher such saturation or the triage category. Uh, three and four. So in conclusion, most patients with uh, shortness of breath who presented to a &E were seriously ill and they needed immediate interventions. And uh, the cardiovascular and respiratory comorbidities were highly prevalent among this group and which reflected in their initial diagnosis. And significant proportion of people needed a form of ventilatory support and uh, which is predicted by initial high respiratory rate, low saturation and uh, and uh, triage category one and two. Thank you.